Is it crooked? Oh, don't forget the forehead, okay? Or the five head or the two head, whatever kind of hair you have, don't forget it. Hey, you guys, it's winter. You already know what it is. We about to get it on and popping because I'm back with another vid. Period. <laughs> but I'm back with another video. I know it's been so long since you've seen my face. This video is going to be a makeup tutorial. This is going to be super easy because I am no makeup artist. I want a disclaimer. I'm not a makeup artist. I don't do this. I use products from like drug stores, so CVS, Variety, Walgreens, and beauty supply stores. So my makeup products are not expensive. But this video is going to be very relatable because I'm not a makeup artist and probably you're not either, which is why you're watching my makeup routine video. So yeah, stay tuned and let's get into this video. Uh, first, I go in and do my brows. I use this gold brow in the color black brown. It's from the beauty supply store and look at this price. Hold on, I don't know if you guys see. Am I am I a beauty guru yet? <laughs> yes, it is $1.99. I hope it wasn't upside down or backwards. But yeah, this was $1.99. $2 to get your eyebrows on fleek. Who who what what? Excuse me? I might be using this tiny mirror. Ooh, it looks dirty, but it looks clear this way. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna outline the bottom of my brow. Right, so we're gonna go this way, we're gonna outline the bottom of it. Okay, see I've outlined the bottom of my brow. Then we're gonna go in and we're gonna fill in. See, we're already getting somewhere. Two dollar brows. Oh yeah, I forgot to say, usually I do this this with the spoolie to get my brows in like position. <laughs> but I didn't, I didn't do that now because it, it didn't need it, but that's what I usually do first. So this is how I do one brow. I'm gonna speed up the video now and I'm gonna do this brow. Okay, so now that I'm done filling in my brows, we're gonna clean them up, make them look like fleeky fleek, because right now they're on fleek, but now we're gonna do fleeky fleek, right? Okay, so I use this LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealer. Let me be a beauty guru real quick. There we go, oh, snap! <laughs> I like when it actually works because it really makes me feel like I'm doing something. Okay, so yeah, I use this LA Pro Conceal Concealer in the color Warm Honey to conceal my brows. And I use this brush from Walgreens or like CVS or whatever. You could find it in any of those. And yeah, I just do that. You could use the, the brush that they give you here and just outline it, but I like to go in with this smaller brush that I can just take a tiny bit from and go in with that, right? So we're gonna go in on the bottom and you're gonna just outline the bottom. I hope you guys were able to see that. Now that I've outlined the bottom, you're gonna go in and outline the top. Oh, mm, look at that, I messed up. It's okay though. It's okay, just use the spoolie and blend it in, blend it in, and then look, it's gone. And then you just blend it down. This way, I do it all, all, all over my eyelid. And then, you're gonna take a booty blender. I use this tiny one from CVS, Rite Aid, any drugstore, and you blend, blend it in. And then you go on the top. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some, uh, what's this called, mascara. Yikes, I'm doing a makeup tutorial and don't know what makeup is called. Okay, go me. So yeah, I'm gonna take mascara, I use telescopic. You're gonna take this and define the hairs on your eyebrow. And basically, yeah, your hair's gonna go like that. And like that, and like that, and like that, and like that. So after that, we're gonna go back in now with the spoolie. And we're gonna blend it out at the top part. Blend it out here, and then we're gonna bring it down. You are done with one eyebrow. I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna do the other eyebrow, and I'm gonna get right back to ya. Okay, so now that I finished doing both eyebrows, now I can do my eyeshadow. What I use to do my eyeshadow is this The City Mini Palette by Maybelline. Let's get close, let's show you guys right quick. Okay, so I use this palette. Focus back on me. I got it from um, Walgreens and I use this brush that I as well got from Walgreens. Of course, I use this one first and I put that right here 
and up a little right there and that's it just in the front part we're gonna go in with this one next to it it's a little darker we're gonna go in with that one and we're gonna put that halfway so we're gonna put that in the middle right so we're gonna go here and we're gonna put it here and then we're gonna bring it down so now that we did this part this part this part and this part we're gonna go in with the darkest color which is right here and we're gonna put it right here and here we're gonna just blend it upwards so I think that's to my liking now we're gonna do the other eye so now we do my eyebrows and we did my eyeshadow next we're gonna do some eyelashes and then my eyes are done and the rest is super easy and simple and let's get into those eyelashes so as far as eyelashes goes i have different kinds of eyelashes i think i'm gonna go with the little dramatic ones today but i'm gonna show you specifically my natural ones that i usually use every day and these are like i absolutely love these these are from the beauty supply store hold on let's let it focus right 25 guys number 25 uh, how much were these these were five dollars okay so the glue that i use is this duo the white and clear duo lash glue there's different wait hold on there you go i'm putting the lash glue on that's what it looks like so that's what it should look like hold on right and i'm just gonna leave that here and we're gonna let it sit for a minute Okay, so I'm still waiting. It honestly hasn't even been 30 seconds yet, but usually they say wait 30 seconds. I think I wait maybe like 45 seconds to even a minute. I just want it to be super tacky. This way when I put it on, it doesn't move around or anything like that. I use my fingers. Some people use a, a tweezer, but yeah, I take my finger. I use my fingers and I just put it right on top of my lashes. Some people go under, I do on top and then we do that and that or what i feel okay so we're gonna go one now that we did that we're gonna wait five seconds for it to fully dry because you could still see i don't know if you could still see but like it's a little white over here and it's gonna dry clear so yeah okay so now that we finished with my eyes i don't know if it looks good on camera but i think so i'm not quite sure hopefully it does not a makeup artist we're going to go into foundation where i use this milani hold on makeup guru time wait a minute there we go yes i use this milani's conceal plus perfect two in one foundation plus concealer 11 amber yeah we're just gonna go in i also use a beauty blender you're gonna put some foundation on here and then i do that and then i put more foundation and then i do that bom, 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 bom. A little bit more here and then on my forehead and in between and then you just take the beauty blender and you blend it out now that i've done with foundation we are going to go back in with the same concealer that i use for my eyebrows which is the pro conceal the la pro conceal warm honey concealer and we're going to do that we're going to do the little lawn thingy under my eyes that the you know the beauty gurus be doing and that's it. I didn't do the same thing on the other eye. Now we're gonna go in the middle of your nose and then you're gonna go here on your chin, do about four lines. Okay, and then you're gonna go on your forehead and you're gonna do about three lines. And that's where you should put your concealer or that's where I put my concealer, okay? okay. Go back with the booty blender. I go back in with the tip of the booty blender and not the bottom that I did the foundation with. I go with the tip and then I blend it out. You just pat it. think we have fully blended the concealer now we're here okay now that we're here we're gonna go in with another concealer this one's a darker one we're gonna go out same LA Pro look same LA Pro concealer this one is color chestnut we're gonna go English okay we're gonna go in with chestnut and we're gonna use this to contour so you're gonna take it and you're gonna go here we're gonna go here with it Okay, and then you're gonna go on this side, you're gonna go here with it, and you're gonna go on the tip of your nose with it, and then you're gonna do this, like you're gonna outline your nose. 
And then I use this brush that I got also from Walgreens, CVS, whatever, and use it to blend it out. And this is what you look like so far. I will be right back because I need to charge my camera. I'm not going to do anything until my camera comes back on. And yeah, so stay tuned. <laughs> Okay, so guys, I'm back. I went live on TikTok while I took a break so that my camera could charge and now it's charged again So we are back in business gang gang. Okay, so I would normally go in with This Sephora, I know I said drugstore, which you don't need it, but I don't know I just like like I feel like my face is a little like round and chubby So I need like extra contour. This is a contour stick that I got from Sephora. It is the color 14 teak yeah, there you go. And then a little here. And then I'll put it on my forehead once I get there and like once I take my, once I take this off. Okay, so next I'm going to finish my face with this setting spray. Hold on, beauty guru coming through. I got this from Walgreens, same place I got everything else. <laughs> We're gonna spray it and I'll close my eyes and spray. Hold on. Ooh. Okay, sprayed it and then we like let it dry. We are done with my face and I just have lip gloss left. I got this. There we go. Okay, this is the lip gloss everyone uses these days. I got the pink one. They have different colors. Okay, what did I do there? Okay, I fixed it. I'm not quite sure what I did, but now I am basically done with my face. Uh, this is my everyday makeup look i hope you guys enjoy it i'm gonna come back in two seconds and show you guys the entire look i'm gonna take in this off and expose my edges and then i'm gonna do my hair and yeah brb in two seconds <laughs> and this is the final look okay edges is done i put jewels on my edges because you know you know uh my earrings is in hair done bantu knots in and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give it a like comment down below any videos that you want to see from me subscribe to my channel click that subscribe button turn that post notification bell on so that you're notified every time i post follow all my social medias they will be on the screen and in the description down below and i hope you guys enjoyed this video later